How's it going again, PC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. This video is going to be talking about was ALF ahead of its time? So, ALF started in 1986. It didn't last long. I think only a couple seasons. I think three seasons to be specific. Three or four. I have the complete series. I could look it up, but I don't feel like getting it out. Um... So, ALF was a series about an alien that came to Earth and um, was with this family and they got into a bunch of shenanigans, blah, blah, blah. They had to hide him from the government. Well, first, let's look at ALF and its characters. ALF was voiced and played by the um, creator of the show, the, uh, the head and up... The torso and above was a puppet. A lot of people didn't know this. The torso above was a puppet. Then a full body shot of Alf was still the voice, but it was like a puppet suit played by one of the, one of the greatest... Um, I don't know how to say it. Little people midget actors played him. He was a good actor. I, I really liked him. He was pretty good. And how do I remember Alf being so young? Because I watched it a lot. I watched clips of it and I watched reruns of it. A lot of old... I grew up watching a lot of old-timey cartoons from the 80s and 60s and 70s and all that. Because that's what I grew up watching at my uncle's house and me TV and all that stuff. And... It's just, it's just great. It was a great show, and reruns was a thing. Reruns are still a thing. But ALF was such a great show. And for its time, it was very good. It had a bunch of stuff, different stuff. Legit had calls coming. ALF made a call one episode about the president and about all of this stuff. And it was so dark for the time. Because it, it was just ALF. It was trying to keep... It was like pop culture, but for the 80s. It was keeping up with the times. It was like, I want to talk to the president. It's so... Trying to stay on current events and trying to do some wacky stuff and keeping with the humor of the show. It was like a comedy. It was a great sitcom. I enjoyed it. And... It's sad that the actor that played Alf has passed on, and some of the other actors have passed on recently. It's just... It was such a good show for what it was. And I think it was ahead of its time, because it used puppets, and it also used... It broke the barrier for um, actors at the time. See, I don't want to say nothing because Peter Dinklage might get offended. I don't want to offend Peter Dinklage, the king of the little people acting career. But I don't want to really offend him. Uh, that's why I try not to say that word. But he was a great actor for playing Alf. And he was that's what he was remembered by. And with having dwarfism, he played the role perfectly. Just... They kept the same voice, so he didn't really have to act, voice act. The vo voice actor was the creator, and that was probably made the stepping stone for creators and voice actors, being voice actors in their own shows, like Seth MacFarlane. Al Alf is not the first one where a creator of the show was a voice actor. Um, Sesame Street did it years prior, and it came out in the 60s, with um, Jim Henson voicing some characters... Um, Disney did it first too with Walt Disney, but it's the same person and the same creator doing the show that he loved and he wanted to make his own show and he starred in his own show as his own character. And I like the show because it's such a rememberable, sh um, it's a rememberable, it's a show to remember and... 
it's a shoe that people love to this day, and they're still, you know, they made a whole box set of shows, and it's when VHS was popping off, and ALF breaks the fourth wall a lot, and not a lot of shows in the 80s and, and 90s and stuff like that broke the fourth wall. It's just, ALF is just a rememberable show, because ALF is like, and it's also one thing, and the show also had one running gag. From his planet, he loved to eat cats. So the family had a cat. So the show always had a cat gag in that show. I don't know why I say gag, but skit. A cat skit where Alf chased the cat and tried to eat the cat. It's always something with the cat. And I'm glad, and not a lot of shows keep up with the same skit every time anymore. These shows now. And... There's a lot of different shows out there in the 80s as well that was very good, but Alpha was just very funny. It was a very funny show, and it was very... It kept the humor, and it kept some dark humor, and there's some scenes. It's like... And these two guys, and one of the beginning season, the first season, these two guys capture Alf, and, you know, they get to a fight... And you just bring the family into a lot of situations that they can't get out of because he's an alien. And and back then, even today, people still believe that there's some form of life out there. And there has to be. This universe is too, you know, big to not have other forms of life. We can't be the only form of life in this whole universe. And with it being controversial and with it being a show it also had humor it has a lot of good humor and i would check it out if you are like if you're like me and you're into old timey shows i love the 1960s batman for example and not the new one but i want to talk about the netflix one i never watched it yet i don't know if it's any good or if it's any bad but he-man masters of the universe i love skeletor one of my favorite characters i have a collection of not a collection but i have a Skeletor Funko, but I don't want to ramble on about other stuff. Um, I don't want to ramble on about Alf that much either. I just wish they would bring it back. I would bring it back just to have it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, press the red button, press the like button, press the red shiny subscribe button, press the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.